Hi there, I'm Peter Latham, I'm a landscape photographer based in Ardmore, South Auckland and Mike invited me to uh, do a little lockdown video at the studio so I thought I'd give you a little tour. So, come on in and take a little look. I thought I'd start by just uh, showing you the equipment I use which is this rather large and heavy phase one medium format digital camera. This is a 100, uh, 100 megapixel beast, this one. And when we start talking about uh, image quality and uh, the number of pixels, it's also very important about the image sensor itself. So the beauty with medium format is you have a much larger image sensor. So uh, each of those individual pixels are that much larger again. So there's a lot of weight to haul up those hills, but uh, the images speak for themselves. So yeah, I mean, the, the weight of all of this, it's pretty hefty. Um, but a good example of what this can do, it's all very well having these nice expensive toys, but the proof's in the pudding. And there's an image here on the wall, which I took a year ago, uh, down uh, near Karamea, at the start of the Hippie track. I called this one the Circle of Life. Uh, so this was a wave uh, breaking over a rock, just as the sun was going down, um, on the west coast there. And if I... I mean, it looks fantastic there, but let me just show you uh, some of the other images on the computer that I took at the same time, just to sort of give you a little bit more background as to how I got that. So, if you'd like to come around here. Um, so, I've got a little video clip of uh, what I thought I was going to shoot, which um, you will see. Just waiting for the sun to dip below the horizon there, should be quite special. I decided to just qu quickly change lenses and go down to the water's edge. So I started by shooting these uh, oyster catchers uh, with the waves crashing over the rocks and I thought that was quite nice and then if I just scroll down, took quite a few of them and then I decided to uh, to start, uh, I noticed this particular rock here, and um, if I just uh, take this full screen, so you can see this particular rock here, the waves are crashing in, and you've got this beautiful sunlight, and if I keep going down, so that was the second frame, the third, I was just focused on the rock, and I selected 1 640th of a second, at f6.3, just to have a little bit of depth of field, and one of the beauties of this medium format camera is, I was able to rate it at 800 ASA just to give myself enough shutter speed, a fast enough shutter speed and allow enough depth of field. And there we go. That is the sixth frame that I took. And if I just bring you up there, just take that back a little bit. So it's quite an incredible shot. Uh, it just looks like molten glass, beautifully backlit by the sun. So, you know, sometimes, um, you know, I thought I was going to, take pictures of the, uh, the river there um, with the light uh, reflecting off the kneecows into the water. That didn't work and then I just had to think on my feet, change lenses, quickly re race down to the water's edge and got this phenomenal shot and uh, I kept on shooting until the sun went down but uh, you only need one shot but you can see there are other shots that I've tried to get the wave and I missed it. So that's the beauty of photography I think is you just you literally you're capturing a moment in time and with the naked eye you never would have seen that. That was just a split second and then it was gone forever. So it's pretty satisfying to capture something like that and that just you know makes you feel good that I know that if I hadn't been using this equipment I probably wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have had the same precision with my previous medium format camera to capture that with such sharpness and clarity, um, I really probably would have lost the shot. So um, yeah, there's you know the proofs in the pudding. But if I just show you the rest of the studio here, so let's come on through and um, see what I'm up to here. Um, so uh, this is my large format printer here, so I do all my printing here in the studio. Um, so this prints on large um, rolls up to 44 inches wide. Uh, by as however long as I wish. Uh, this is a 12 colour uh, pigment ink system, so you've got um, half a dozen.
dozen colours there and another half a dozen here. And these, um, these pigment ink, inks, they're all archival. And uh, there's an institute in America that does all the testing of different medias and inks and printers. And they rate the permanence of these inks to be um, around 250 years indoors before you might see any fading or um, change in colour. And some work that I'm working on here, just to give you a sneak preview, um, Mike and I have been planning to stage an exhibition uh, in the gallery uh, over in Devonport at the beginning of May, um, actually next weekend, but unfortunately with COVID-19 that sort of put a span on the works. But so anyway, we'll hope to do this in the near future, but this particular uh, shot here, so I'm playing around with metallic canvas, um, and uh, let me just put this to one side. Now let's show you some of these up close here. So this um, this is one of the ones which I think is pretty groovy. So I'm going for a sort of like a vintage look here. Um, and another one here I've got of this um, little billy goat down this river gorge. This is going down through the um, Taranaki, down the Forgotten Highway uh, early last year. And in a, a different body of work I'm working on is these um, these pastels, um, sort of reminiscent of the old White's aviation photos from the 50s and 60s. Um, it's a little old ruin here in the Nevis Valley with the rainbow. And um, so I'm going to, my plan is to frame these all up with sort of like mid century uh, style frames just to um, help give a nostalgic feel to the images. This old caravan up north and some more decals uh, is on the hippie track again um, and then a particular favourite I've got is uh, this of um, these boats on the shore at uh, Lake Alexandrina down the South Island which is not far from Lake Tekapo. Um, so uh, yeah that's what I'm working on, there's a black and white of Bo Peter on the Coromandel. So these are all on this metallic canvas which is quite a different piece. But uh, there you go, so this is Snack Preview. I hope you've uh, enjoyed that and thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay safe and keep well. And we, if you've got any questions about any of this, my new work uh, or any of my other work, please uh, give Michael Lindbergh a call at the gallery. Cheers.